Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to an NBA 2K16 Pro-Am Road to the Finals game. You guys see the record of this team? four and one so they were grinding on this particular day you guys see we were two and oh ourselves trying to put together some big games and that's a big slam dunk to start things off but on the other end look at their point guard with the answer and the posterizer on poor walsh you can only stand there and watch as we give it to brian inside could have taken a shot ourselves probably could put up the floater we usually do in the baseline but gotta get the big man involved and there you see the point guard i don't know if he lied out the game or what but he ends up leaving two minutes into the show as we knock down the three-point ball right there now you guys are wondering you know we played a few of these road to the final game did you qualify or anything like that did you try to qualify um we kind of tried to qualify for road to the finals we always thought it'd be a cool idea to grind out on a certain day to um try to because you got to win a lot of games and win these games by a lot you got to get like style points and all that good teammate grade so you have to be organized you have to have all five of your team members ready to play as you guys see we're um getting people jumping in the air and that gets Josh a baseline drive but he gets blocked at the rim and Josh early on was struggling one for seven couldn't find a single like he had some good shots you just couldn't get it down and then all of a sudden it gets in your head you try to drive and you get blocked but yeah back to what I was saying before you we wanted to try to grind for road to the finals but no one we like we always had one guy that wasn't on on a certain day because road to the finals qualifying games are usually on the weekend on Saturday or Sunday and usually on the weekend people are busy not playing 2k you know so we never had all five so it just never really worked out but it's all good you know we kind of played a game for fun it would have been really cool to try to qualify I don't know if we would have been able to but um, like I said, it would have been cool to at least see how far we could go as we give it to Brian who gets the and one dunk right there. So the situation in this game right now is they only have two user players, small forward and center, as no one's watching Denny Tice who puts up a nice floater, but we miss it. Look at Brian inside, continuously drawing these and ones. Brian's big play inside is definitely what's been the deciding factor so far. You see Walsh inside getting wide open, so... Walsh and Brian, they had the matchups to exploit. They have small forward and center. So we got to get them the ball and see if they can make plays as they go in the paint, get a shot, and tie it up right before halftime. As you see, they get the steal off the inbound pass and throw it down. And the game goes into halftime 32 all. I don't know what the CP was doing on that inbound pass. You see, their small forward has 12 points, but not really passing the ball much, or at least not getting many assists. So we just got to take away his shooting, take away his drives, and, um, you know, he probably won't make a good pass. As you guys see, he takes a tough shot right there mid-range jumper and gets it to go and even though they only have two people it's hard to get much going with two people in the pro and they are making it work and they have a four point lead you guys see the stats is we get a sloppy turnover off the inbound once again cpu is just throwing turnovers off inbound passes walsh i'm pretty sure didn't even call for that ball so that's just frustrating to happen as we take a deep three bang from way downtown our second deep three of the game and we have limitless range on our guy as well as you know corner specialists all these like you know crazy badges so it helps us knock down those very deep shots is a spin move and a slam by the center right there puts him on top back and forth game finding josh who isn't able to find much separation because he's being guarded by the cpu but we gotta give him these easy buckets whenever we can and at least for the most part josh is contributing on the defensive end not really on the cpu but help defense wise as you guys see right there speaking of it even though he played good help defense the guy scored anyways they're getting these kind of buckets that it's very hard to win a game when someone gets buckets like that but on the other end threes beat twos and we can keep on doing that uh we got a pretty good chance to see Walsh lighting up the box sheet with five or seven assists or seven points five rebounds four assists literally doing a lot of everything the swiss army swiss army knife on our team is kind of like lebron james at small forward there i say as you see we're like chris paul trying to find the open man it's walsh cutting to the rim start of the fourth quarter we're down three points we gotta lock in at this point and definitely play some good defense and let the offense take care of itself try to you know force transition opportunities walsh for three and walsh starts off the fourth quarter with five straight points lobbing it to josh back to the hot hand but he's gonna pass the ball try to get us a better shot this could be it but look at his pump faking eventually freeze brian i don't know why everybody left the big man has been dominating all game but we'll definitely take that assist you guys see we have a double double with three and a half minutes to spare we'll get walsh on the defensive end forcing the steal walsh especially was the one that had to lock into this game because his small forward matchup was the one who was scoring most of the points and so far so good they haven't scored yet in the fourth quarter and they still 
11 scored. Mons, the rebound inside by Brian, who has a double-double himself. He's working on Josh, slowing it down, finding the open man. Perfect release. See Josh waiting for you. Maybe gonna force him in the paint, but looking... Pads on a good shot, get a better shot, and that is what's putting us up eight points. We get a silly little turnover trying to pass it to Brian, but we go out of bounds right beforehand. Our second turnover of the game, giving them some life with two minutes to go, and they finally score their first points of the fourth quarter. Hopefully, that's not something that gets them some momentum to keep rolling. You see Walsh with the ball, and Walsh called for a traveling violation. He didn't even move. The guy pushed him, and it's just a really weird turnover, and hopefully stuff like that doesn't keep happening or else... They will have a chance in this one, but if we play defense like this, they stand no chance. Going to the rim, but getting blocked, and he dies. But the CPU gets the big-time offensive rebound. Josh, not much to do, but finds Brian, and Brian can't finish inside. A chance to cut it to a one-possession lead hook shot. Over the CPU is no good, and look at us crashing the glass late in this one. Surveying the field. It took a little bit too long to find Josh, but Josh gets Brian, and Brian with the nifty pump fake draw the foul and might put a cap on this one but Brian's not this guy's not a great free throw shooter he's an athletic center but thankfully he did make at least one out of two and now we've got force him to take tough threes like this and as long as they don't go in and as long as we get the rebound we are pretty set running the break throwing the oop oh that's the exclamation point the dagger and the top play of the night Walsh rose to the occasion we threw it off and that man got the go go gadget arms out on that one as we give it to Josh really quick and give him a bucket at the end of the game and give us a nine point victory great defense in the fourth quarter only allowing four points that's definitely what won us the game so leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it we went a big time road to the finals game it's definitely cool to go against good competition like that and you know they're going hard for road to the finals so a big win for us leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more and i will catch you guys next time and by the way today is brian's birthday so you guys want to give brian a quick happy birthday in the comment section definitely do that man because um yeah, happy birthday, Brian.